Okay, 13 cameras is kind of like the movie Vacancy. Just instead of being a hotel, it's a apartment complex. So you have a landlord who, if you think creepy white guy who's probably filming you in your sleep, if you close your eyes and picture creepy old white guy videotaping you in your sleep. And then you see a still shot of a man named Gerald from this film, you probably go, oh, that's exactly what I thought for a creepy white man who's videotaping me in my sleep. So you have a couple that's expecting. They've got marital issues, so they actually push that, and that's all the, the standard marital issues. So you get the stress of, they're, they're fighting a little bit more, she's pregnant, they just moved. And there's the weird guy who's hitting the whole time. The acting is pretty decent for low-budget directed direct DVD, or I guess direct video, whatever terminology they use nowadays for direct to mass media. And the film, for the most part, it's pretty good. You know, the problem is, these sorts of films, it's hard to get really invested. Because with the marital issues, they really exemplify the one person who is creating all the problems in the, in the relationship. And you know the guy's going to do something to them. So you need to hope that that ending sequence is visually satisfying enough for what you can watch the rest of the film. And they do a pretty decent job with it. The last, like, five minutes of this film, where they do the full resolution of exactly what he was doing the whole time, that's pretty good. I would almost say that almost border... For the way the film is shaping up, you're not expecting that as much. And then it hits you like, oh, see what you did there. Pretty smooth. 